evening, glad you're with us tonight at 6. Authorities say it's not a place known for having a lot of crime. Yeah, but there have been two shootings in just a matter of weeks at this Spartanburg County bar. 7 News reporter Scotty Kay is at Red's Grill on Haines Street. At this point, um, our investigators are still investigating. Cop cars sat in the parking lot of Red's Grill Tuesday morning and a canine searched a nearby grassy area after deputies responded to a shooting there around 930 the night before. Somebody may have tossed something, dropped something. Uh, the suspects could have been uh, lying in wait, so that's probably why the canines out there just to see if they kind of come across something uh, out of the ordinary, something that looks out of place out there that could possibly be a clue for us. One man was shot and taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries, but this isn't the first shooting at Reds. Less than two months ago, deputies say a 20 year old man tried to rob the restaurant and was shot and killed by an employee. Now there's a sign on the door that says absolutely no masks allowed inside. The owner tells me the sign was posted after the attempted armed robbery as the suspect was wearing a mask. It is, uh, you know, unfortunate that two. Um Incidents involving firearms uh, took place at that location in such a short amount of time. The shooting Monday night wasn't inside, but in the parking lot, and the owner told me it did not involve any of his regular customers. The incident didn't force the business to close and didn't stop folks from coming by for lunch on Tuesday. We don't think that this was, you know, just somebody uh, sitting out looking to victimize somebody at that specific location. According to the sheriff's office, there have been nine reported incidents at the restaurant since the beginning of the year. Not an extremely high number, uh, but again, one incident is, is too many. We would love to have no incidents reported in Spartanburg County. Investigators are now looking for the person or people who shot the victim in Monday night's case. We certainly want to solve this. We don't want anybody that's out and about in a community that uh, took it upon themselves to shoot somebody for whatever reason. The owner of Red says they're looking to explore further safety measures after this incident. And if you have any information about this case, you're asked to contact the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office and you can remain anonymous. In Spartanburg County, Scotty K, 7 News. The owner of Reds tells 7 News they take safety of their customers seriously and they've installed a video surveillance system. We have their full statement on WSPA.com.